Very beautiful. Okay, well, listen, we'd like to uh, all together toast the new bride and groom. So what we'd like to do is uh, have everybody grab a glass and get a little champagne. And uh, once we've got that poured, sneak a few sips, get a second, and then we'll, we'll have a, uh, the first toast by the uh, brother of the bride. <laughs> That's the power of us getting in. I'm not, I'm not sure, but I think we just married Lori. <laughs> Susie jumps up to take that one. <laughs> Here, let me sneak around. Oh, I'm okay, I'm... James, James, take it away. All right. Where is she? Oh, right there. L Lori's my baby sister. Uh, my two earliest memories of Lori were me trying to make her throw up at the dinner table and her screaming while my brother tied her Barbie Corvette to his bike and raced it down the street over a ramp. But every year, Lori got her revenge in the form of a five-hour dance recital. And making it worse, they are always on Sundays during the NFL season. And there was no getting out of them. Even for you, Dad, try as you might. But it was at one of those recitals that I remember thinking, you know, hey, this kid is really good. And, and you got to admit, it's pretty admirable, and I've always been very proud of Lori, of how she dedicated herself so much to something that she loves. You know, she got accepted. I don't know if people know that she went to a very prestigious university for dance. She graduated there, let's just say with honors. Yes, it's true. Um, and later on, you know, Lori worked three jobs so that she could have her own studio. You know... In a, in a way, Lori lived like a very modern fairy tale. A and like most fairy tales go, one of those side jobs involved wearing a skimpy outfit, pouring shots in a bar, when in walked uh, Prince Charming. <laughs> that would be Jeff. You know, people sometimes ask me, what do you think of Jeff? What do you think of Jeff? And uh, rather than answer that directly, let me tell you the story of Jeff's bachelor party. Trust me, it's very clean. So, I remember it was at Easter dinner where Jeff, Joe, Jamie, who thought it was appropriate to discuss things like this at Easter dinner, decided to hatch the plan for Jeff's bachelor party. It was going to be our last bachelor party, as far as we knew, and it was going to be all weekend. I mean, a real showstopper. Friday was steaks, remember? And, and, and Saturday was a manly fishing trip. Then we were going to Atlantic City. Joe's client, Donald Trump, had a private penthouse suite for us. It was an incredible plan. And by the time Lori was done with her revisions to that plan, it was a raw food diet dinner and three hours of dance rehearsal for the number you were going to say. But the crazy part of it all was, was, you know, if you looked at Jeff during that, he seemed to be having a great time. And therefore, if you ask me what I think about Jeff, the answer's got to be, I really like him, but I feel just a little sorry for him sometimes. <laughs> you know, I think the true moral of the story, and people hit on it constantly in their speeches, was that Lori and Jeff have a good time. I mean, I'm very envious of all the snowboarding they do, the fishing, the hiking. I mean, they always seem to have a good time. And they're really pleasant company together. I mean, how many among you have been, found yourself just helplessly trapped in a conversation with them till three in the morning, some night, eating, you know, roasted cauliflower or some organic concoction that Lori prepared that for the evening? You know, and Lori's also very loved by our children and, and by their nieces and nephews for the princess days that Lori has with the girls. And Jeff is he's so endlessly patient with my son playing Tom's the train, and he plays wiffle ball with the boys. 
you know, as I look around this place right now, I see a lot of people look like they need a drink, especially you, Johnny. So I'm going to cut it short. I'm going to stop talking and let me raise my glass. A toast to Jeff and Lori for continued happiness and looking forward to sharing it together with you. Yeah. Yeah.